Hello, it's Trisha here and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the writing tools and templates that are available for your new book at Author Heroes, the Fast Track Author Course. These resources are fantastic, if I do say so myself. Um, I've put together these resources to help you. Um, we work with a lot of authors and we are helping a lot of people write books and there are a number of systems that we use and this is the main system. These are the steps that we go through ourselves and once you get um, into the using these templates you'll find it makes things a lot easier especially when you're dealing with multiple people like freelancers to do different parts for you. Now in the course there is one tab specifically dedicated to resources where you'll find resources, tools and templates. Um, this is a list of the 12 current tools and templates. As we develop this course and we get more feedback, if more information is requested from our students, then I will create more templates to make things easier for you. But this is really the core pieces of information that you need to write your book. Now, items one to four will be the most important when you're starting out with your book the book planner, the book outline, the print book layout and the power words. The book planner is literally a, a, a place that you will download and brainstorm your ideas. The book outline is the skeleton of your book. When you finish the skeleton and you start filling in all the gaps, you transfer it over to the print book layout. The print book layout is the document that um, is has been formatted for Amazon requirements to print a book in paperback. It's really good when you see it in that layout because very quickly you start to imagine how your book is going to look finished. Once you have it in that layout and it's ready to be reviewed, it'll go to a proofreader and editor. It'll come back to you. Everything will be cleaned up and then you'll send it to someone who will do the formatting for you. Um, most likely in Adobe, but that document will give them a really good idea of how you want things to be laid out. The power words are great words to inspire you and they're words that you can sprinkle through your copywriting and also on your book cover as well and your listing. So these are the four that you'll use right now. Um, in the later sections of the course, the book brief is really a freelancer's instruction manual on what you want for your book. So this is where you fill in the details, you know, you want this type of cover or this type of review completed and then you send them that with the manuscript and they'll take care of it for you. Number six, the pricing schedule. This is where I'm giving you current pricing today. Now there's different levels of quality. So you could go to a freelancer on Fiverr or Upwork. It's going to be very inexpensive. You can come to a company like Author Heroes. We do this work and we charge a fairly premium price, but we provide excellent quality. And if you're not happy, we'll just redo it. So it just depends on what your level of budget is and how much you're prepared to spend. If you're on a tight budget, do definitely try Fiverr or Upwork. If you've got some money to invest in your book and you want to do it really, really super high quality, then get in contact with us. We have a team of people that just do this full time. And one of my editors that I work with, uh, and he helps us with books, he's been an editor with Penguin, um, Penguin Books, and he is brilliant as well. And he'll give some really direct, good quality feedback if you want that for your book. The mind map is a tool that I use a lot along with a book planner. It depends on how you think and how you visualize the information you want in your book. The mind map is a more of a visual tool where you, you can use it with post-it notes or on the Canva tool we give you here. Um, and that's where you take one core idea and then you break it out into multiple ideas and then that can form your chapters and what you talk about. The book listing template is what you use to create your Amazon listing. Amazon Kindle specifications number nine and number 10. There's Kindle and there's print. Then we have number 11, Canva book cover. I've got a template that you can play around with. We'll cover that in a later uh, video in the course. And then I've created a sample book text for you to, you know, to make your first listing, but don't go, don't go live with it. It's just a, a dummy bit of content, but you can upload it and see how it looks. Okay, so that bit is covered. Now, how to write your book. Um, in the course content, you will find some more information here, but you first need to choose your why and a book purpose. 
download the book planner and map out your ideas. Um, if you prefer, you can also take a look at the mind map, whichever is easier for you and the best way that your brain functions. Use one of those two. Um, download the book outline and answer the questions. Draw on your ideas from item two. So whatever the item, the item two above is the book planner. When you're doing your book planning, you really just want to get everything out of your head and pick one core idea and how can you break that down even further and go deep into it. There's a range of questions that are included in the book outline. I recommend two different ways to write your book. Um, most people, I'd say 80% of people are more comfortable talking rather than writing. And if that's you, download an app called Rev.com and you simply take the skeleton of your book outline, you take each, each chapter with the bullet points and you talk about each point. You record that, you transcribe it with Rev, you get the content back and then you can edit it and add it into your book as you want to include it. Clean up the text, make basic changes. And once you're 70 to 80 percent happy with what you have done with your book content then you copy paste it into the new template take a break from your book for a couple of days and then go back and have another read make any other changes and then once you're done there send it to your book sorry send your book to a freelancer for proofreading editing and review and then once you've got that done, you proceed to pre-production so um, people often ask me how long will it take to write a book if you use the book plan um, and the book outline or the mind map and the book outline, you can, and you know what you're talking about, you're an expert at what you do, you can literally map out your whole book in just a weekend. And it's no exaggeration. I mean, I've worked with clients where we've been able to get their book pretty much done in one week. Um, it's not difficult because we're not writing a Stephen King best, you know, best-selling thriller. We're, we're writing an expert book. It's a short book. It's a book about what you do and how you help people and the method that you use. And you're telling people how to do, how to follow that method. It's very straightforward. The biggest thing that's going to get in your way is yourself. So just, just like I mentioned in the earlier lesson, have those mindset ideas, you know, don't procrastinate and don't overthink things. Just go with the flow. You can always update and improve your book as you go. And definitely use freelancers wherever possible to help you. Now, if you find you are still struggling to do your book and you want to hire a book coach, I'm available. You can get in contact with myself or you can look for another book coach, whatever works for you. Um, I will work with you one-to-one -one and we will talk about your book and what you want to do. I will interview you. I will spend quite a lot of time with you, getting to know you and understand your content. And then I will write your book and come back to you and give it to you 80% complete and from that we can customize it together and get it all finished so it just depends on you know really what your level of commitment is the time how willing you are to do the work yourself or whether you want to pay someone to do it for you so just to summarize here you have your mind map and your ideas and this is also if you have the book plan your ideas you come up with your bullet points your, your bullet points are taken to your outline which becomes paragraphs your paragraphs turn into chapters and your chapters into a book this is a quick snapshot of what the book planner looks like it's a uh, pdf or a word document so literally just follow the steps brainstorm your ideas create a draft outline you know this is how you would do it so say for example you are a coach that specializes in relationships in marriage counseling um, your core idea is, you know, how to how to keep marriages together as kids are leaving home, empty nesters. Maybe that's your core idea. Um, and then here you would pick a, a chapter title. So maybe chapter one would be talking about the whole concept of an empty nester and the and the challenges they're being faced with in subtopic two, three, and four. So you might say subtopic one is empty nester, subtopic two is um, outside influences, and subtopic number three is do we really love each other anymore? Whatever the topic is going to be. Um, 
so there'll be a number of pages that look like this. So I've just taken a snapshot from the first page of each. And then towards the end of the book planner, there is a section here with um, dates where you can start to plan out how long you think it will take you to complete it. Now, as I said before, please don't overthink it. It's really straightforward. Think about you're writing a long sales page or a really long webinar or a workshop and you're running a course or whatever it is. That's pretty much what you're doing with a book. You're putting together your best content to help people. Now, before I mentioned a mind map, and this is what I mean, so some people would rather do this type where you're writing words and nice and neat, and some people like this. Another way that you can do the mind map is you can use post-it notes. So this is the core idea, organic vegetable gardening for home chefs, and these are the potential other ideas that I might like to write about. And from this particular garden plate, these are some other ideas. So this is how I would use it. This is the topic. These are the chapters. So these light middle colored purple and these are the subtopics. So chapter um, one might be garden to plate and the subtitle might be fast growing produce. So what plants you should grow in your garden in order to be able to have enough food to cook in your kitchen. And then all these I recommend you grow herbs and greens, vegetables and fruits, and different recipes for these ingredients. So you can sort of start to see now how it works. So you take your main topic in the middle. These are the chapters and the main subtopics, and then these other things you're going to write about. So as I mentioned before, um, we're going to use a audio transcription text. I have a book that I've written called The Five Minute Author, which is included in the bonuses with this course. If you want to go down and scroll to the bottom of the lessons page, you'll be able to see it there and you can download it. I go into a lot more detail um, and I think you'll find it really helpful. It's a really easy way of writing your book and I feel um, it's underutilized and we have the technology now in our mobile phones that we can download an app to record our voice. You should just go for it, make the most of it. It's really, really easy. And whatever you record, don't worry about mistakes because it can all be edited out as you're preparing your book. Now, there are a couple of things that I've talked about. I don't want you to get confused because it may sound a little confusing. We have a book planner. We have a mind map. We have a book outline and a book template. They're all different things. This is a picture of the front page of the book outline. The book outline is a skeleton frame of your book. All you need to do is go through this book outline, download it from the resources section and scroll through and fill in the sections that are there. And this is how it looks. There'll be a left hand part on the section here. In the table, this is the part of the book. I want you to write your bit in the middle here. And on the right hand side, these are prompts. So what would you write section? The book title. Now that's obviously for your reference. The, what's the front title? What's the title going to be on the front cover? The author name, the dedication, and literally you go through page by page and you complete it. So this is what the book outline looks like. This is what the book template looks like. The two different things. So we start with this outline. This is a skeleton of your book. And once you finish filling in all your paragraphs, you've done all your transcription with rev.com the audio you'll compose your paragraphs and you copy paste it into this book template this book template has been formatted for printing with amazon on a specific book size 5.5 by 8.5 it's ready to go it's really exciting when you see it here because all of a sudden your book comes to life and you go wow this is amazing i've got my new book um a lot of work has gone into creating this for you. Uh, when you send this to your designer, they will put it into an Adobe design. Ask them if they can give you the PDF as well. So if you need to make any changes in the future, you can. But basically, if you follow this format, you'll have your book completed with no problems at all. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about uh, is AI, artificial intelligence writing tools. Sometimes you might face writer's block. The first thing that I do when I have writer's block is I just need to find a way to relax. Often people are struggling with writer's block because they're not relaxed. You need to let your brain relax. You need to be 
relaxed. I don't mean have a sleep or, or go for a walk. I mean, just let it go. Don't be uptight. Let everything relax. Just chill your brain, chill your mind and go a little bit crazy. You know, have some time, maybe do some star jumps or do something. If you can't get the writing flowing, then this is another option. When everything else fails, this is what I do to overcome writer's block. I use artificial intelligence writing tools and it's actually really fun because when you're using AI, obviously it's not a human. This is a robot writing for you and picking up um, different types of grammar to give you an answer. It's really fun. This is called Word Hero. I've used different types of AI tools before. You can try some different ones, but I found Word Hero to be the best um, and they have a lot of different types of writing techniques. One of the writing techniques that I love from this particular software is called Facebook ads. And they actually, you put in a, a sentence and they spit out what your Facebook ad could be. And the reason why I like this is it kind of turns it into a mini story. And that mini story just prompts so many ideas in your head so you can continue to write your book. So if you're stuck on a chapter, just put a sentence in. I made one here just before I created this video. And the sentence was um, a new book on how to lose weight using the keto method. Now, what they're asking you to input is name of a product or service and what it is about. Give it a short description. And what tone do you want? So I wrote, I want it to be a confident tone. I click the write for me button and it brings up this uh, two proposed options. The first one is looking to lose weight and feel great. The keto method is your answer. This new book provides all the information you need to get started, including delicious recipes and easy to follow directions. That is awesome. I mean, I wouldn't have thought of that. And I just feel sometimes when you have a brain fart or you just can't come up with a good idea, this is a nice way to kind of light that spark and get started again. On the top right hand side, you can see the keto method is the latest and greatest way to lose weight. This new book tells you everything you need to know and how to use this method to your advantage. You'll learn what foods to eat, how much exercise you need and how to stay motivated throughout your journey. Actually, that is so good. I'd probably suggest that would be on the back cover of a book of keto. I mean, you can use these verbatim. You can spice it up a bit. Most people will change about 10 to 20% because they want to customize it to their own writing. But I mean, you can see there, it's a great way to overcome writer's block. And you can just take that frustration that you feel coming inside or your inspiration is dried up and you can come here and try it and bang, someone, some magical fairy in AI land is writing for you. <laughs> I thought that was a bit of fun. So I wanted to share it. Now, this little button down the bottom here, the write for me button, I click that because I thought, what if I didn't like this content? Can you give me another idea? And it does. This is the second idea. Um, it says, looking to lose weight the keto way? Check out our new book. It's packed with information on how to make the keto diet work for you, from what to eat and drink to detailed meal plans, blah, blah, blah. I mean, how great is that? That gives you another piece of content. Now you could literally use that on your Facebook ads or you could use it on your Facebook post, but you could use this in a, a section of your book. Maybe it's in the introduction or maybe it's on the back cover of your book. Whatever it is that you're stuck with, don't give up, stay strong, stay positive, get the right mindset, head over to this um, app for wordhero.co co, and have a go, it's really good fun. I hope you found that really, really helpful. That is the end of lesson one. I love being here and I love sharing my information with you. And if you have any feedback, please provide positive, constructive feedback so I can continue to give great value to you. Head over to lesson two to learn about repurposing content that you already have that will save you time when you're writing your new book. Thank you.